Hi there, Chris Dale here with yet another video on over the wire web hacking war games. The Natus 19 level is the one we're at now, and it says that this page uses mostly the same code as the previous level, but session IDs are no longer sequential. Awesome. So uh, we're gonna have to take a look at the session identifier then to see if there's any potential exploits for it. So log in with admin admin here, capture the request, forward it, and we can see that the PHP session identifier is seemingly random but doesn't look very long to be honest it has uh, not a, a, a good width on it not a lot of characters and it might even look like some kind of base 64 or something like that so we're gonna let the sequencer chew on this cookie first so notice that automatically when i forward this request to the sequencer it already intercepts that hey the php session identifier is it might be the one that we want to analyze and sequencer will basically capture hundreds if not thousands of the requests and and sequence and see how much the php session identifier identifier changes from each request i don't need thousands here i'm probably just going to need a couple of uh, hundred uh, character level analysis need more than 600 so we could probably look at that if we were to if we had a bigger problem at our hands here but you can see that these red bars here this indicates that the screwing is not properly randomized so I'm guessing that there's something to export here. I'm gonna copy these tokens here, bring them into Notepad++, and you can see that the end of the string is always 6069 6E. 6164696. There's same the same ending for all of these, and the first characters here are actually the ones that are changing. So I'm going to bring these into CyberChef and analyze them from there. CyberChef, which is one of my favorite tools all time, it's the best tool. Thank you, GCHQ. But this tool here will be able to analyze this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, base 64. So I'm going to fork, basically for every line fee here, I'm going to run the next operator, my next receipt here. I'm going to do base 64 decode. And this, not, this does not seem to be proper. So that didn't work. What about, so this looks like hex as well. What about hex? So I'm going to do from hex here. <laughs> and yeah, uh, not proper. This is, of course, the mistake. We have the username of admin and we have a number here that is probably, we need to probably hit the right number. That's what I'm gonna guess here. So, not good, just hex and a string inside of session identifier. So let's go in here, take our request. So this is the post here. Send it to actually, let's just capture a new request where we already have the session identifier here. So I'm just gonna do enter. So now we have the session identifier set, control I, send it to the intruder. And we're gonna go through from CyberChef here, here, we're gonna go through numbers and we're gonna prepend the dash admin here. So this string dash admin, we're gonna prepend to every request. So we're gonna do a simple numbers game here from zero to 1000, go through every one step here minimum one, maximum four, zero fractions. And payload processing. So let's do a little add suffix, prepend. That's probably to add something to the beginning, is it? Append, prepend, yes, prepend. So I mean, I meant append, I mean to add a suffix. So here we add a suffix dash admin, and then I wanna convert the entire attack here to hex. So let's see, encode ASCII hex. So these are actually run in order. So if it, first, if it will first run the payload, then it will add a suffix, and then it will encode, this, encode my attack as ASCII hex. So I'm gonna try this attack now and see what's happening. So you can see the attack is running quite fast. We're running with five threads. And we could also, of course, pay attention to the response time, but this server here seems to be responding just nicely. We did have some latency here, but we can see that it's not climbing to the point where the web server is dying from this request. So that's all good. Sort on content length. 
up and down, and you can see there's an outlier here. There's a difference, there's some kind of anomaly when given the following payload. So this payload here, if we go to the response, it says that uh, you're an admin. The credentials for next level are so and so and so. So basically when we gave it this payload here, which is this session identifier, the attack worked. We were logged in as admin and it doesn't have to be harder than that. So what we're gonna do here is then press F12, change our cookie, storage here. We have the PHP session identifier. I'm gonna double click this value, paste in the new value, hit refresh. And just like that, we're at the next level. So I'm gonna copy in this password, natas20, natas20 as a username, password, and we got it, awesome. So I guess that leaves us up for the next video. Thank you guys for watching, have fun, hacky, bye-bye.